Good. Boom. Good. Go, Miguel. Pack that basket. Pack that basket. Pack that basket. Good. That's it. Good. Way to adjust, right? Adjust in the air. You look a whole lot better, bro. You look a whole lot better. Stretch out a little bit, bro. I appreciate you coming through, my guy. This my just my my little uh, eight o'clock group. And after this, um, my bigger group comes in at ten thirty. Yeah, I got different sessions, bro. So this is just my my early session. I do it like eight fifteen, eight thirty. Sometimes it's like ten guys in here. Sometimes it's like this guy. This guys want to come in and just work, get that early work in. A lot of these guys, they they stay too. They stay for the ten thirty session. And then I usually do a one on one, like 12 15 to like 1 30. I do a one on one, but that kid won't be here today. So that'll be like my free time, you know what I'm saying? To just chill, get my legs back. And then I got my younger group, 1 30 to 3. And he's, he's actually in my younger group. His dad just asked if he could come train with the, you know how it is, the older kids. And come out and get better, man. That, that's, yeah, that's all we do. Yeah, you, you know how we was, bro. Yeah, I did that a, a lot, bro. I, I was just talking yesterday with my boy Jamon, you know Jamon, and we were just saying like how we didn't have like our OGs to be like, yo, come come, come here and let's train for two, three, four hours a day. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we didn't have like that, that AU circuit that everybody, we didn't have all that stuff, man. So I, I call this era the spoil era, man. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the talent level is is crazy these days. You know, Way different than when we was playing. Do you have, you have, have girls come out too? Yeah, so I got a few girls that, that do come here. Now, actually, I got a girl that's in my later session. So a lot of my girls, they train with the boys. Um, so, yeah, that's how they get better, man. You know, sometimes they might complain when they playing that they don't get the ball, but that's, that's a part of the sports, man. Yeah, you got to, yeah. If, you, if I'm not getting the ball, if I'm in the corner here and I'm not getting the ball, am I going to stand and pout? Or I'm going to go set a screen or something. You got to do something where the coach is going to see you. Oh, man, you didn't get the ball, but you didn't pout. You went and set a down screen, set an off-ball screen. That's, that type of stuff, man. Like, it, people got to learn. It's, it's not all about scoring, right? And a lot of people stuck these days. You got to score. I got to be able to score to make it. And that's, that's not the case, man. That's not the case. You know that, man. We've, we've been doing this for a long time. Bro. Yeah, we don't, you don't have to be a scorer to make it. It's a lot of people that play Division One. That didn't make it just because they could score. You know, they made it because they did defensively, or they made it because they had good grades. You know what I'm saying? Or they're just a good team guy. Give me a good team guy. And I tell my boys this all the time, like, you want to be a the star, or you want to be that that guy that don't play and sit and pout and, and be like, yo, man, I ain't playing and go to your parents. You know, people people deal with that, man. And that's why you gotta let players know from the gate. Like this is 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 my show. You know what I'm saying? You know you coach bro. It's it's my show. I don't want to hear nothing about no parents at this. No parents don't come down me. And that's and that's why I like I, why I'm at EMH. I, I don't have those issues here. I don't have the parents come to me saying why my son is, is not playing. Like they know I build relationship with the parents. I got relationship with my boys and yeah, just playing, man. Yo, let's go. Holla at your boy. You watch your gyms in the rock. And right now, we hanging with your boy Brian in his workout sessions with the kids. And we have some of the parents right here tapping in, supporting the kids. And basically, I just wanted to ask some questions to the parents. What's it like, you know, um, contributing to your kids' success at an early stage? You know, we have a lot of parents that don't engage and, you know, interact with coaches alike. Sometimes they just send their kids to camps, school, and don't even know, you know, what's the mindset of the person that's, you know, grooming their kid and their development. So what's it like with you, you know, you know, coming on out? I mean, me personally, I coach with Brian. Um, so as a parent, I want to have my kid train with somebody that's actually in tune with the kid. So I don't want him just in the gym, 40, 50 kids, and he's kind of off to himself here. He gets that personal attention, you know, and it's, it's, it's genuine love, not only training. 
That's what's up. You know, when you got a lot of kids in the room and you get those extra minutes, extra hours before practice or even, you know, uh, after, it's certain, you know, elements like this that I wish I had when I was a kid because I had to wait till summertime to get this type of attention. You know what I'm saying? So what about you? Well, for me, it's great because now I get to reiterate things that he's done here on the way home. We have a conversation, father to son, man to man, you know, parent to athlete, you know, of course, you know, school is always first, but, you know, I feel that this actually builds upon him, gives him, help, gives him structure. It's not just about the basketball training here. It's about giving them structure and letting them know and believe that they can do whatever is in their mind and in their heart and just keep moving forward. That's what's up. And give us your name and the name of your kid. Uh, my name is Melvin Thomas. My son out here, Melvin Thomas Jr. He's actually the starting point guard for Brian this year. That's what's up. And what about you? My name is Oscar Nelson. My son is Isaiah Nelson. He plays for East Ridge Basketball. That's what's up, man. There you have it. We watching Jim's in the Rock, man. We got the parents supporting, and it's much love. I can't wait to the new up and coming season. And stay tuned, man. Much love to the parents and all of the trainers in Rochester. This is definitely what we need. So keep tapping in. You watching Jim's in the Rock. Peace. Go ahead, Hippo. Come on, Reed, come get some. Let's spread out. You stay on the black line. On the black line, everybody. Keep that cone in, the, in your right hand. Spread out. On the black line. Just face, though. Make sure you got space. Face it that way. Face it that way. Yup, right here. Go ahead. All right, we're going to go V dribbles, all right? Push over more, Isaiah. One minute. Make sure we low, right? Keep that cone in your right hand, right? And we just work it, just working our arms, just working our arms here, right? Just here. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Good. Here we go, Miguel, so let's go. Let's go attacking, attacking and retreating with our left hand. Keep that cone in your right hand. Keep that cone in your right hand. Ready, go. Go, go hard, faster than that. Good, let's go. Come on, come on, keep steady that ball. Come on, come on. Come on, this one. Mel, come on, this one. Good, all right, hold. All right, let's do 20 push-ups each. 20 each, then take a second. 20 each, let's go. 20, push-ups each. Let's go, 20 each. 